Hey brother, hey brother, hey brother, hey brother, hey, I'm a vlog today. I just felt like going for it. Then today I'm continuing agenda setting week with a comment from EJ Mwise who asked me to discuss books versus movies and specifically The Hunger Games. So Ben, you know what I hate? When you go to the movies with someone and the movie is based on the book and you haven't read the book but someone in your group has read the book and they're like, oh my god, the book was so much better. As if not reading the book doesn't even entitle you to see the movie. Like they should have someone at the ticket stand quizzing you with questions about the book. Oh, oh you haven't read it? I'm sorry, you can't see the movie then. Fine, you can see it but you can't enjoy it. It seems like there's this weird air in our society because like when you read a really great book you can't wait to see the movie but then there's this weird guilt like I'm not supposed to enjoy the movie as much as the book even though the movie was created because everyone enjoyed the book and is meant to be entertaining. Maybe it's because you get a little bit more intimate with the book like you spend a long time reading it whereas at the movies you're only there for like two hours. Maybe you feel like the author spent a lot more time creating this book or something but making movies is hard. You have to coordinate like tons of people to lots of different locations working 14 hour days for like a month just to come up with a two hour product that hopefully people are gonna like and not just say well the book was better. That being said the book is often a lot better. The obvious example is the Harry Potter movies. I mean the books are just so perfect and amazing and then the movies I mean they just had to leave stuff out. There's no way they could put as much stuff in there. And don't get me wrong I love the movies but I love them in more of a I love everything Harry Potter kind of way. Do not get me started on Dr. Seuss movies Ben. Did anyone else see the cat in the hat with Mike Myers? Or the Lorax. I was waiting for that movie since I was six. I mean, it was my favorite Dr. Seuss book. Actually, Ben, this is my favorite Dr. Seuss book. Maybe I'll read it to you one day. Oh, but the Lorax, Ben. And then the marketing of the Lorax. The Lorax was partnering with giant corporations. The Lorax. The... Now, with all of that said, the book is not always better. My favorite example of this is Jaws. Jaws the movie is easily in my top 10 favorite movies. It's just so good. Man versus man, man versus town, man versus beast, man versus self. The movie was so good I just assumed the book had to be amazing and I could not wait to read it. Well, I should have waited. Because the main point of Jaws, what you want it to be about, is man versus shark. And the movie understood that and it was ultimately what it was about. Even though there's lots of other side arguments, all those side arguments are still about the shark. But in the book, the shark feels like an afterthought, like it just sets all the other problems in motion. And then we're gonna focus on all the other problems and oh yeah, we need to go fight this shark. There are also occasions where I really enjoy the movie and really enjoy the book. The main argument I always hear from people for why the movie isn't as good as the book is because they left stuff out or they changed too many things and they wanted it to be exactly like the book. But honestly, I've seen plenty of movies where I really enjoyed the movie, I really enjoyed the book, and yet they changed things dramatically. Watchmen, arguably the greatest graphic novel of all time, and I prefer how the movie ends. Like, it honestly just makes more sense. And I I loved the book! I loved the ending in the book! That was really good too! I Am Legend. Book is about vampires. Movie is about zombies. Loved them both. But finally, EJM Wise asked me to talk about The Hunger Games, so I'm gonna break that one down in a little bit more detail. If you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, stop watching because I'm going to spoil stuff. I thought the Hunger Games book and movie were great, and they're in a weird league where the book and the movie both kind of enhance each other and the story of Katniss and Pan Am. They do change a lot of things from the book to the movie, but I thought a lot of them really made sense. Like, the heavy emphasis on the game maker. Because in the books, we're inside Katniss's head. We get to know all of her thoughts, why she's making every single decision, and how she's feeling in every situation. In the movie, we can't really do that without Jennifer Lawrence just narrating literally the entire thing. Which, don't get me wrong, I would be totally into. In the movie, we get to see a lot more of Caesar and the game maker and Hamish just like analyzing what she's doing, showing you why they're doing things in reaction to her instead of her doing things in reaction to them. A lot of my friends complained that the dogs at the end didn't have the eyes of the dead competitors and there weren't enough of them, but to me, that didn't really matter. Like in the book, that was a really cool visual that demonstrated how horrible the capital was, but in the movie, it's really just, you know, it's all about the danger they're in. They're still 
it's still horrible. They're still sending dogs after them to kill them, and you still see that, and you still get that emotion. I also thought the movie did a really good job of portraying the entire theme of the story. Like, you get to feel the entire pain of the nation. Like in the book when Katniss and Peeta threaten to eat the berries, it's hard to see why that's such a big deal. Like, they explain it to you point blank why it is a big deal, but you're still like, I was just eating berries. But in the movie, I got it. I was like, oh no, she didn't. And you can see how it enraged Snow and how it rallied all the districts into this, like, the start of a rebellion. So Ben, my question for you and everybody else is, are there any movies you think are better than books? Books better than movies? Movies that enhance books? Books that enhance movies? I don't know. Let me know in the title section below. Or if you have any other agenda topics you want us to try and talk about this week, we're still accepting ideas. I think that's all for me. <laughs> we'll see you in another life, brother. Fox, socks, box, knocks, knocks and box, fox and socks, knocks on fox and socks and box. Socks on knocks and knocks and box, fox and socks on box and knocks.